So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. What's good guys, it's Zen, and I'm here with your daily Lost Sector guide. Now I have over 4,000 hours in this game, so if you listen to these tips, we will get those runs going as fast as possible for you and get those exotics. Now all of the information I dropped throughout this video is super concise and I drop relevant tips throughout the entire video. So be sure not to skip anything and watch the entire video for the best exotic farm. I'll give some additional info about this guide while I show you how to get there. But if you want, you already know where it's at. Feel free to skip to this time to get right into the guide. Now I'm gonna be honest, this is a mid tier farm. You will be getting regular 8 minute clears, which is about double the fastest runs. However, this isn't so bad, and with my tips, you'll be getting the fastest clears possible. In this guide, I will be using no exotic armor, as I want it to be applicable to anyone watching. Whether or not you have certain builds unlocked, I want to help. However, exotics will of course help, so I will give recommendations while explaining the build. I will be using Titan, but I will give recommendations for Warlocks and Hunters so the guide is useful for all three classes. And now that you know how to get there, let's get right into the guide. Now let's get right into the build. If you aren't interested in the build, feel free to skip to this time to watch the walkthrough. However, I recommend listening as this build will trivialize the Lost Sector. Now in this Lost Sector, there are two Overloads and two Barrier Champions. With this in mind, we will be using Arbalist, a bow, and a heavier linear fusion. Now typically, I do not use exotic weapons to make the guide helpful for everyone, but I had to make an exception here as without Arbalist, this run would take far too long. Eight minutes is the max I'll ever let a run take. No worries though, anyone who owns Lightfall can easily grab Arbalist from Shaw Han at the Cosmodrome. Simply grab and complete this quest and you're good to go. For our build, we will be taking advantage of Solar. This season, we have access to the artifact mods Solar Surge, Flare Up, and Rain of Firebolts. These bolster the strength of Firebolt grenades significantly and allow two charges, which lead to deadly explosive ignitions. These ignitions melt through this lost sector and you'll see what I mean. With that in mind, our grenade of choice will of course be Firebolt grenades. For our fragments, we will be using Ember of Ashes, Ember of Char, and Ember of Eruption. These fragments all make our ignitions larger and do more damage. Finally, Ember of Mercy makes our grenades create fire sprites, which grant us powerful healing and restoration. For your super, make sure it's either Hammer, Blade Barrage, or Daybreak. For aspects, Titans will grab Roaring Flames and Soul Invictus. This gives Titans high solar ability damage and good sustain. Hunters will grab On Your Mark and knock them down. This gives Hunters 5 fragment slots and allows them to infinitely chain their knives for great ad clear. Warlocks will use Touch of Flame and Icarus Dash. This allows them to stay mobile and to have much deadlier fire bolts. For your helmet, throw on special and heavy ammo finder as you will need ammo drops to get the optimal time. For your gauntlets, throw on 3 grenade kickstart mods. This gives you excellent fire bolt up Time. The artifact mod Authorized Mods Grenades lowers their cost to 1, allowing you to easily slot on 3 grenade kickstarts. For your chest, you will want as many void resist mods as you can get, as the boss and unstoppables do big void damage. For your legs, a scavenger mod corresponding to your linear fusions will help out with the ammo economy. And for your class item, you will want as many bombers as possible for that grenade uptime. For stats, as always, you'll want 100 resilience for 30% damage reduction, and as much discipline as possible for grenade uptime. If these exotic armor pieces are available to you, use them for the fastest runs possible. For Warlocks, we will have you use Starfire Protocol and switch your grenade to Fusion and your Rift to Empowering. This gives you great damage throughout the entire Lost Sector and lets you spam fusions as long as you remain in your Empowering Rift. For Titans, use Syntheseps. This will boost the damage of your hammer, which we will be spamming in this Lost Sector. For Hunters, use Caliban's Hand. This allows you to get an ignition when killing an enemy with a proximity knife, giving you the best ad clear in the game. That's gonna be it for the build. Pretty simple stuff. Let's get into the walkthrough. Now the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you come in, take care of this little goblin here. Then you're gonna run into this room and clear out these first set of ads. For Titans, this Lost Sector is super easy as you can just spam your hammers to take care of most of the ads. Then you're gonna come up here and throw your firebolt two times. This kills that entire wave of ads due to the solar ignition. And then you're gonna deal with this barrier champion here. Very simple stuff, just with your arbalist. For warlocks, you can just throw your fusion grenades at those ads to deal with them. And for hunters, you can just use Caliban's hand. Just get one ad low, throw your knife at it, and then it will ignite. Now we're gonna deal with this hydra with our arbalist. 
very simple stuff and you see why I said that you need to use Arbalest to run this. It really just trivializes this lost sector, otherwise you would be sitting there with your pulse, we would still be there for another two minutes. Then you're going to come over here, start to chip those goblins and these fanatics will spawn behind you. Make sure to take care of them. The overload is going to jump up these stairs so be ready for him. Here he is. Just stun him really easily with our bow. But it looks like he's shy today, he actually ran away. Typically that doesn't happen, but we'll just grab his attention, kill some goblins while we're at it, then we'll run back. Now you want to be standing right here because this allows you to easily just back up and you can turn left. Because when he comes unstunned, he's going to come chasing you down again. And now we can proceed. Now you're going to come in, you're going to want to deal with these adds. Don't use your fire bolts on them because there's another group of adds very shortly that you're going to want to use them on. So again, titans, you're just throwing your hammers, hunters, you're getting something low and then you are igniting them. All right, and then we're just going to throw our fire bolts up there. Kill all those adds, make very short work of them, take care of this minotaur. Now if your abilities aren't up, you could just bow things down. It'll just take a little bit longer, but there is plenty of cover in this lost sector. There's going to be another group of adds here. We're going to take care of these guys with our bow. There's going to be a gigantic group of adds and an overload champion. So we'll stun the overload. Looks like I lost my hammer here, <laughs> but it's all the same. We just stun him and then kill him with the linear fusion. Throw our grenades down and you'll see that solar ignition come into play. See, this is where you want to save your firebolt grenade for, because otherwise this will take a while to clear these guys. But it's no problem, like I said, you can just sit in the back with your bow, and there really isn't an issue. Then you'll take care of this harpy, and then this portal right next to me will actually open up. That's going to be the final boss room, see we're already there. There we go. Now when you jump in here, you're going to want to jump to this platform to the right immediately because otherwise this platform that we're currently standing on will disappear. Now this goblin, we're just going to take care of him. And then these boxes, there's two boxes that we need to shoot. First we're going to deal with these adds that are shooting at us. Shoot the minotaur, take care of that guy pretty easily. Then we'll take care of the goblin. And again, these two boxes, you need to open them up to take care of the hydra. After you kill the hydra, the boss will spawn. Now there's going to be a barrier right in front of me right now. There's two adds, so we're going to take care of them first. First, we'll deal with the Minotaur, take his shield off, and then just linear him down very easy. And then the Goblin, you can just, of course, take care of with your bow. And then we got Arbalist for the barrier. Very, very simple stuff. After taking care of the barrier, you're just going to run back to the other side. You're going to go to the left this time. And you're going to kill this Goblin because we want to take this position that he's standing in. Run across, take care of this Minotaur. You should kill him from right where I'm standing right now so that you don't take too much splash damage. You have a wall protecting you. Take care of the Goblin. And now we are going to run right where those enemies were previously standing. And the rest of the Lost Sector is gonna be handled from here. Shoot the second box, shoot this Goblin, and then we're just gonna take care of this Cyclops. Now you're going to want to make sure if he's charging up a shot at you, you're going to want to dodge it because it will one shot you. Now here's the boss and we're just going to linear him down. It's actually very, very simple. The only thing that you need to watch out for in this boss fight is harpies that will spawn around you. So as long as you're just being aware, you will have no issues. See here come the harpies right now. We'll just bow them down. Very, very simple. And we'll just rinse and repeat. Kill these harpies, do linear damage to the boss. And that's about it. The Lost Sector will be over at that point. Uh, the only thing you really need to look out for is losing all your ammo, but that doesn't really matter as we are running a damage solar super. So yeah, we made quick work of this Lost Sector. Now, if you found any value in this video, a subscribe would be super appreciated. These videos are super in-depth content and I try to make them as useful as possible to everyone while also being short and to the point. I upload Lost Sector guides every single day, as well as other good Destiny 2 and some Pokemon content. Either way, thanks for watching and good luck farming guardians. See you tomorrow for the next Lost Sector.